Yeah, yeah. The title is, uh, well, it's true. We'll talk about that in a second. Originally, I was going to film a video today about cars you can buy for under £10,000 or the best potential long-term investments you could make car-wise for under £30,000. Obviously, we've taken a leap a bit of a turn away from those subjects. I really wanted to film this outside by the 430 Scuderia and stuff, but it's like crazy windy today. So I don't think you'd be able to hear anything I was saying. So today we're just gonna hang out inside. I've been thinking about making this video for a while. I haven't known whether I should talk about it. Anyways, I have ordered a new car. And I'm beyond excited. Obviously, if you're new to this channel, guys, a little intro. First of all, my name's Seb. Hello. I bought last year, 2019, an Audi R8 V10 Plus and a Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Here are a few clips, recaps of when that happened. So this is awesome, awesome stuff. Here it is. This is my brand new Audi R8 V10 Plus. I am so pumped. Give me a hug. Oh. Fast forward, I still have those cars. The 430 Scuderia is here and the R8 is currently, well here being in France, and the R8 is currently in the UK. And now I've just ordered a third car and I cannot tell you how excited I am about it. So I wanted to make this video to just tell you guys about this. I'm preparing a proper like launch where I show you the car, talk to you more about the story, etc. That is going to be live Wednesday at 5 p.m. UK time. This upcoming Wednesday. That's Wednesday the 22nd. In case you're watching this video in the past, you can already go watch the upcoming video. I thought that rather than just dropping the bomb, I'd give you guys a little bit of a warning. So Sunday, there's gonna be a video on a celebrity's car collection as we do every Sunday at the moment. And then Wednesday, I'm gonna announce this new car to you guys. It's nuts. I cannot believe it. Now, just before I post that video, I'll explain it a bit more in the video. I do wanna explain that obviously this timing's a bit odd with us all being in quarantine and announcing a new car. Obviously, it's a car as you can tell by the title, that I've ordered. It's not a car that I've bought, that I've taken delivery of or anything like that. It's a car that would arrive in a while. And I wanna be completely honest from the get-go, I'm not 100% sure what will happen. I fully intend on taking delivery of this car for now, but Corona has made everything very unpredictable from, first of all, the car market standpoint, and also just, you know, I'd rather be open and tell you that from my own work standpoint. You know, often when you look from the outside on YouTube, everything's positive, everything always looks good. You know, it's all the cars. It looks like sometimes there's no kind of problems going on, but the honest point of view of that is, that that's not the case and I've t definitely taken a hit during corona. Yeah, it, it hasn't been easy it's, it's been kind of a tough time. So the timing of announcing this is not obviously as I planned it and not ideal. I've confirmed an order for this car. I'm, I have no idea currently if it means that I would still keep the Scuderia and the RA. Whether, you know, I would need to potentially share the allocation with someone else down the line. I don't know because by the time it comes, my financial situation could be completely different. We'll see. But what's for sure is the car's ordered and right now at least, the plan is to take delivery of it sometime next year. That's the first clue, by the way. I'd rather be open with that from the get-go. I'll keep you updated as we go with every Everything, but it is odd, odd timing and the car market's obviously taking a massive hit at the moment I was you know thinking about am I gonna keep the Scuderia or the R8 But at the moment I'm not gonna sell anything because I think it's a really bad time to sell You're probably thinking it's also probably not the best time to buy well Yeah, technically but ordering a car you obviously put a deposit down and then payments kind of come gradually So it's not like you have to put everything down straight away for this car. Anyways, I really want it to be perfect when I announce it to you guys I'm gonna show you the whole process tell you how it all came about and that video is gonna be live next Wednesday But I thought that um, kind of to get you guys thinking until then I would give you three clues the first clue is obviously the car is brand new as you've heard it will be arriving sometime next year the second clue is a number now it could be anything I'm not going to tell you what the number represents but the number is 1030 there we go that's relevant to the car in question then Third clue, which is also relevant to the car in question, is a, com a word or a combination of word with these letters, which are gonna be on the screen. Those together form a word or some words which are relevant to this car as well. I'm actually really intrigued to see if you guys find out on purpose made it quite difficult. So comment down below if you found the answer using these clues. And yeah, I've kind of known this for a while and I haven't known when it would be a good time to announce it. So anyway, here it is. Wednesday, 5 p.m. UK time. It's gonna be time for a new car or at least the order for a new car. And I am so pumped. Oh, I guess I can 
gonna give you one more clue. It's not like a Range Rover or an RS6 or something. It's it's a supercar. There we go. If you aren't subscribed yet, actually 73% of you are not subscribed yet. So if you're not subscribed and you don't want to miss the video on Wednesday, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button, and we'll be able to watch that video together. And you'll be one of the first people to discover what this future car is. And then I'm gonna want you guys to potentially help me with specking it down the line and different options like that. So yes, very exciting times, guys. Can't wait to announce it. And I just wanted to let you know before I just kind of threw it in there. You'll, you'll be the first to know. You'll be the first to be able to go watch that video now that you're prepared. And I'll be seeing you then. Take care, guys. Thanks for everything. Bye-bye.